dude, this pie is so great. Really shouldn't have ever dyed your hair blue. Those chemicals are seeping right into your skull. Welcome back, guys. It's been a month since I've played this game, and I am antsy to get back into it. I have no idea where we left off, other than there is alien abductions afoot, and we're getting a thermogenerator. 23 days to a council report? Awesome. Now, this is I have a new pop filter. Hopefully it works for the most part. Uh, new audio settings and all that, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's see, we have engineers. That guy, that's really loud. Scientists. I probably need those. I have no idea which one I was going for first. Let's double check. 16 engineers. Okay, do we need more? We need money. We desperately need money. Um, yeah, we really, really need money. What about facilities? If we want to put in another satellite uplink right here. We have enough engineers for it. Okay, so we don't need engineers right now. I can always build another workshop right below it. Just create like a workshop. Plus, I don't know. Whatever I just drew out there, that thing. Oh, right, I remember. I changed to interrogate floater. I do apologize for not showing you guys that cutscene. I did that off camera. Uh, the reason why I did that is because the interrogate floater... I did a little bit of reading, but I didn't spoil anything for myself. I just want to know a little bit about some of the research so I'm not you know, completely stupid. Uh, that gives me the basic armor tech, which will help me get carapace armor faster. So I could get carapace armor in 14 days. And when I interrogate the floater in 5 days, that will cut this down to 7 days, I believe. If I understand what it, the wiki said, that'll cut it down to 7 days, which means I'll be saving 2 days on carapace armor, which could make a world of a difference. And the moment I find a muton is the moment that I can really eat through this plasma tech. Now I did watch... Uh, part of the wiki had also some video playthroughs of people doing this on Impossible Iron Man, and I feel like a total, like, horrible Satellite player. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. We are in the Additional second month. Required. I have two satellites. I am so bad. So bad. So, I will be d selling some stuff after this alien abduction mission. I will be working towards making sure I will have... Uh, three more satellites, four more satellites, something like that. And a satellite uplink before this council report comes. So I'll have a ton more satellites. I will be putting them over Africa and South America. So that'll boost research. Really awesome boost of research. And that'll boost my money considerably. I would go for Asia, these four. But that's kind of expensive. And Europe, uh doesn't really apply right now. I have Russia, that's good. I I may have to end up placing satellites on red countries just so I don't lose anyone. That's my top priority. But if I have a choice, I want to put it over Africa and South America. I'm receiving you. Return to base for debriefing. Yeah, fine. So, let's get right into this. I don't want to talk too much. I just want to play this game, kick some alien But I think we're doing fine on engineers right now besides Mexico can take a hit. I don't really want a new recruit, and scientists would be so nice. So we're going to take the Argentina one, boost our research so we can hopefully get plasma tech a lot faster. I have not seen it in action, except by the aliens, but that's, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Vasquez. Grenade. Don't even care. Grenade. If I were playing on Impossible, I would have probably the Squatty with an Arc Thrower since that's an Assault. And everyone else would have grenades. Well, Johnson might have a scope, but there would be a lot more grenades. I can afford medikits uh, and more Arc Throwers. Hopefully that'll work well for me. I don't know what's going on. It's like, uh, that's weird. Okay, anyways, who are you? 4360. You know, I like that. You're good. I know that I had... Just clear you, because I know where you are. So there's... Okay, so there's two guys, two both support. They're way out of the game. 
I do not have many guys. I may need to sp spend some money next month. Well, the reason why I'm bringing Squad and Clark is because she's an assault. So she has some better aim and some decent, well, not great, not terrible. Okay, it does have the assault rifle. Can't use the plasma pistol. I might have to get the plasma pistol first. I don't know how many. Oh, I have three light plasma rifles. Oh, crud. Um, yeah. That's awesome. So I'll be going for that. Sang, badass as ever. Vasquez, on the same level. I think Sang has a little bit more experience, but I'm not sure. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this started. I have a new pop filter, I have a new microphone. Actually, I don't have a microphone. I have the same microphone, different place. I can actually talk directly into it without blowing Strike it. Strike one, prepare so, for landing. Hopefully, the audio is good. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay. Sweep the abduction site to identify threats, neutralize hostile targets, no problem. Take it slow, take it defensive. Full cover is your best friend. I'm not seeing much here, so we might have some issues. Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. You have squad site, so you can just chill back here for now. And I found out Gunslinger definitely has its own perks. Oh, one more thing. You may or may not have noticed, I updated the graphics. That's the only mod I have made to this game. Is... Let's see. You, there. Is flat out replacing the uh, base engine.ini file. Modded the game so the graphics work for PC because it was set on console graphics and you can't really change that. So, hopefully, everything looks better and you guys should be able to enjoy this. Alright, good start. Sniper, considering putting you on Overwatch. But I'm gonna wait. Zang is really fast. Move him up to full cover. Let's move you over here, rookie. Okay, we're not seeing anything. Zang, you have another free move, essentially. I have a visual on the target. Ah. Uh, old sectoids. They disappeared entirely. Okay. Well, that's not good. Um, where can you go? Could go right there. I might. You know, let's let's put you over here, Vasquez. Contact. Oh, really? Crap. Okay, well they ran away. That's fine. That's okay. We'll be fine. Oh, I do not want Zang to be out there on his own. Watch. Crap, this is a bad place. Okay. You both got full cover right there. You protect Vasquez. Zang. Well, I guess, I mean, he's got a decent place. So, Overwatch there. Sally, if you don't move somewhere, I don't know where I'd put you. This would just be bad. I could put you there. I'm thinking right here. Cover from both sides. We'll 
much. What are the aliens doing? Triggered five sectoids. They're only sectoids, but there's five of them. What is making that sound? Sectoids. Sectoids that are mind melting. Okay, come on, Zang. Easy shot. Oh, you're kidding me. I missed my mark. Man, you gotta hit those. He's wide open. Come on, miss. They missed the mark. Wow. Sniper! Goodbye, Sectoid. Oh X yeah! Down. That's a sniper. Oh yeah. That was juicy. Alright. 50... 50% 50 chance to hit. 55% critical. Well, if that hit, I have a half chance for it to be critical. You have a 75% chance to hit. That's actually... I'll take that, Zang. Go for it. Goodbye. <laughs> this one is finished. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot you have Bullet Swarm. Um, let's... Ah, uh, man, it's like, I want you to stay there because you're in a great spot. I could fire a rocket? Really? If I fired a rocket, and I blew this up, it would kill the sectoid, or maybe sectoids, that are back here. I wouldn't want to use like a full-blown rocket, just a shredder or something. I may regret this later. In fact, I probably shouldn't even do it. Fire the rocket right there, that's like the limit of the rocket. Huh. I forgot, this is probably, what, a very difficult mission? So I should probably save my rockets, though the most I'm going against is, like, floaters. Floaters, thin men, sectoids, that's five sectoids. We're looking at maybe twelve, so that's half. Already killed two. I'll do it and see what I get out of it. Put it right there. Okay, look right there. Oh, okay, so it was just lying to me. Okay, fine. Okay, so now the, the choice becomes reload or overwatch. I know that if he overwatches and shoots, then he's pretty much useless next turn. And he's in full cover. Let's just reloading reload. now. Uh, run you over here. Yep, that's good. Don't want to move you guys out of half cover. The aliens are overwatching, I believe. Watch sniper. Watch and Overwatch. Let them come. To me. Sniper, take him out. You did it last time. Do it again. Nice. See you in hell. Oh. You hear that? Oh, there he is. Hello. Zang? Zang has a shot. 35? Eh, rookie has a shot. You have a shot. 25. Sniper's got a 50. You've got a flank 60%. I'll take 60. Nice. Good kill, rookie. Threat has been eliminated. Alright. Overwatch. Overwatch. Overwatch and Overwatch once again. Hey, okay, back reload. online. So you don't steal too many more kills. Overwatch. There are. Let's see, I've killed three, four. I've killed four or five. 
Hello. Survive. Oh, rookie. No way oh, that just rookie. happened. Say, finish him. Yeah, that that just kind of shot failed that. to connect. Rock. Come on, Clark. There's a hit. Kill confirmed. Yeah, I don't. Whoa. I heard something moving. Another sectoid. Be ready. What is right here? Not much of anything. Um, Overwatch. Back in. Load. Good to go. Load. Okay, so now you're good, and you're sitting with lots of ammo. You need to reload. reload. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Okay, they're over there. I don't think we're alone out here. No problem. Uh, you do not have much cover. If I wanted to get there, I'd have to take right there. Okay, well, let's move you. Man, I'm, I'm hesitant, but at the same time, I don't care much about Sally. I don't know, man. Move you right over here. Still don't see anything? Huh. Rookie. I know there's a sectoid, and he probably is pretty demoralized at this point. Eh? I don't know, man. It's like, can I see back here? I can. So they're, they fell back way back there, like way further back. Huh. Why don't we just overwatch on this? I know some of them are in exposed locations, but they should be fine. For now, anyways. Okay. You hear that? Let's get you right here. Nothing? How far back did they go? Saying, yeah, nothing. Vasquez, get over to that. Got both sides of the truck. Rookie, go up the car door. Sniper. I'm gonna try and get the sniper, if at all possible, up here. What do I even put on the sniper to bring? Scope. That's right, I brought a scope. Okay. I was like, I'm not seeing anything. It's, it's a scope. Alright, so we'll move the sniper up. Over here. I know full cover and whatnot, but... Sniper's not in much danger. Needs to move forward. Did you hear that? That sounded weird. Okay. Still don't see anything. Move you forward. But you're not going to see anything. Sniper. Zang.
Vasquez, how about you go there? Still don't see it. Zangle sit, sniper. Move all the way up. Come on, where's the sector? Back there. Did you hear that? If I had a battle scanner, man. If I had a battle scanner. Uh, Clark. Oh, great. You can't move very far. Move you as far as you can go. Don't see anything? Duck behind the car. Rookie. I don't trust up here. I do not trust this at all. Huh. Far can you? Well, that's not far either. Um. Hmm. Zang. Okay, you can move right there. Good. Let's move you over here. Next turn, I will move up. Don't know what I'm expecting to see. I mean, it's it's. What was that sound? Man. Okay. They got cover over here. That's interesting. Half cover, but it's still cover. I'm surprised. I wasn't expecting to find cover up on top of a truck. <laughs> I might have to use that. We'll see. Okay. Sally. Do you see anything? No. Man. Move him all the way here. Trust it, but at the same time, I'm not seeing anything from here, which is two. That's a two different. So let's put you here. Stay behind the line. I don't know if I'll gain vision by going up or not. I also don't know how this will fare for later, getting my sniper up on a high spot. That would not be a bad place for Zhang. Next turn. Vasquez. Dozer. Just chill. seeing anything. This is really bugging me. Like, why am I not seeing anything bugging me? Go up. And down. I have no idea what kind of shots you'll have from there, if any. Okay, you've got full cover option. Let's go ahead and take it. X-ray spotted. There we go. Back there. They all whoop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you hear that? They all moved out of sight range. Alright. Vasquez can move forward. Sank in a good spot. You don't really have a good spot. That's an issue. That is a serious concern. Let's pull you back. Next turn, we might need to run again forward. We'll see how that goes. Oh boy. What is making that sound? 
Insectoids. Get him. Enemy is still alive. It's exposed. He's taking a shot at Zang. What? Nah, uh, didn't do much. Sniper does not have a shot. Oh, it's so bad. Even with sniper rifle. Even with sniper rifle, does not have a shot. Does have? Does he have a shot right here? No. I think he has to be up. Yep, he does. All right, that's fine. We got 75. It's a lot of sectoids so far. The running gun all the way up here. You can switch sides. Half cover. Back up. Plan. How far can you shoot a rocket? Shoot a rocket over here, but not over here. Not really. Okay. Oh. Okay. 36 grenade throw. Could hit. Would damage the alien stuff, but it could hit the truck. You can already see it. 20%. Alright, say. Take your shot. Take it. Right in. Shot wide! You have a second shot. Take your second shot. Come on, man. Oh! Zang! I need additional ammo. You let me down. Crap. Could run and gun forward. Ain't taking you out of full Hostile cover. Spotted. But you're a rookie, you're expendable. Lovely. Percent, forty percent. Take the sixty. Well, maybe not. You are way exposed, actually. Why don't I move you back over here? Because that's not a good place for you to be. Sixty percent chance to kill. Oh man. The problem is if the rookie stays there, there's a good chance he will die. But you got sectoid right here. That can move into a really good shot. Like right there. And you've got another sectoid right here that could jump down. Rookie's just in a bad place. Also is the only one with the medikit. Uh -huh. If he misses, he'll probably hit one of these cars and ignite him, which would then kill him the next turn. That is another concern, because this car has already taken two shots. Now, we've been kind of lucky on that front. And it has not got caught on fire. But if he misses and hits this car again, it will catch fire. So I'm gonna pull him back behind Zay. And you are just in a bad place. However, Vasquez is kind of on her own. 
You all brought the arc thrower to Zang. Zang has the other arc thrower. Uh, okay, well. How about we run and gun you over to this? Well, there's really no good reason to be on this side. To have more than one. Going over here would be stupid. So, why don't you just overwatch for now? If they get close, I mean, that's, and I'm not happy with it. But I don't want to expose myself to more damage. Okay, the one in full cover, I bet. Yep. It's coming forward. That's it? That's all you're doing? That's cool. Oh, that's awesome. 80%. 100% chance to just blow that guy's head off. Go scope! What do you got? 45. We've got two shots. 56, 36. Zang should have another shot, but he has to reload. I won't reload you yet. Sniper, Loki, Thumb of God. Take him out. Really? You had to. Oh my goodness. What happened to the thumb of God, man? Called Loki for a reason. Opportunity to move forward. Okay, two more sectoids. Guaranteed. There's one. Vasquez with the shot. Lines it up. Shoots wide. No way! I know, it's hard to miss with a machine gun, but you manage to do it quite frequently. Whoa! Ah, that's not cool. Fuel's about to go! You could get a kill. You're kind of screwed. Just like B. You're kind of done. Rookie. 40. Okay. This way I can move the assault up. Chilong. Back to your put. Back to your post. Let's see what the sniper can do. 100% chance to kill. Confirmed kill. Taken care of. Okay. Just move over here and reload. Rack tap bang. And some overwatches. There is one more sectoid. Guaranteed. What? We, we have his shot. They're taking shots, they're missing. They're missing horribly. He's exposed. And takes a shot at the rookie. Oh, do not panic. Sounds like he panics. I don't panic. Ah. Alright. They are screwed. They need to get out of here. 
They'll be caught in a chain reaction. 75, come on, Zen! Shot. Target eliminated. You know, I, I think Zhang deserves a promotion. You know? He's one of those guys, he just kind of needs a promotion. Still, no, nope, this is half cover. Crap. There goes my cover. My cover's blown. Oh my god, rookie's in a horrible place. Go all the way to there, huh? What about you? Rookie should be cool to move over here. Actually, Rookie Vasquez should be cool to move over here. Rookie. And fall back over here and use the medikit on himself. I'd rather save it for Zhang, but he's already... Well, hang on. Let's reload, reload. first and see what happens. Below. Let's do this. Reaction shot. Worth another no kill. No more trouble. All mission objectives complete. Nice. That was easier than I thought it would be. Only sectoids. A lot of sectoids. Yeah. Sorry. But I saved Argentina. Lieutenant, and you're now a heavy. Gravely wounded. Wounded seven days for two damage? He got four damage and would take out nine days. Come on. Well, it's another heavy. Johnson. Battle scanner. Disabling shot's cool, but I'm sticking with battle scanner. That would have been very helpful. Four scientists. We will be in touch, Commander. Okay. 23 days to a council report. I need to build satellites. I need to build an uplink. For now, let's just scan. Get the thermo generator. Thermo generator online. Okay, 22 days. So let's visit the gray market. I need what? 65 times four. We're looking at 240, 60, 260. Plus uplink is 150, so we need uh, 410. Really? Is it really? It's 150. And it will build. Wait, now do I? That gives two satellites. Okay, so I only need three. Okay. Three satellites, so we're looking at 180, 195. So call it 200 plus 150, so 345. We need 345. These are damaged, they can go. That's 100. Um, sectoid corpses, we have a lot of those. 170. Not really enough. I don't really need the UFO flight computers right now. I do, but I don't. I remember when all we heard about were flying saucers. The aliens certainly have come a long way. Yeah. 170. I could almost build all the satellites or the satellite uplink. Right now, that's fine. 173. Uh, 
so... I don't know, do we get anything in the next day? Yeah? 20 days request from Asia. I could do that. That would be so helpful. So I need three arc throwers for 142. They cost anything but cash? Yeah, just cash. Alright. Awesome. Now we need only a hundred. But 345. So yeah, we need about a hundred. Somehow. Anything? Nothing? Uh, alright, alright. Well, how long do you take to build a blink? I don't remember. Like 15 days or something? So I can start the satellites right now. I need three. Come on. Commander. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Loader one day. Sweet. There it is, basic armor tech. As far as we can tell... Sorry, I still am a little sick. Uh, as far as we can tell, the specimen known as the floater is barely sentient, at least in any discernible fashion that would imply intelligence. Perhaps this was an intentional move on the part of the aliens, but in any case, the floater was extremely aggressive throughout the interrogation process. The most interesting aspect of this bizarre physique is the propulsion module integrated into the remaining portion of its upper torso. During controlled flight testing within the labs, we were able to observe how the floater is capable of controlling and modulating the flow of power into the propulsion system itself. This was a significant discovery, one that will surely benefit our ongoing research into the alien technology as we attempt to adapt these concepts for our own purposes. Now, carapace armor. Oh, that's beautiful. Five days. That's easy. That's easy. Um, what do I need? I need both UFO flight computers if I want alien nav computer. Hi. Alright, carapace armor. Five I days. appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Awesome. Our carapace armor was designed to offer substantially better protection against the alien plasma weaponry through the use of their alloys. The tests indicated substantial survivability increase relative to conventional body armor. Um, could do alien nav computer, but I really want the light plasma rifle. I've got a lot of those. It'll take a month, but it'll be worth it. I totally, like, bypassed what it said about carapace armor. <laughs> Codename Thorax, I apologize. We've succeeded in creating an advanced suit of body armor based on the alien alloys recovered from the field. These are the same materials used extensively by the aliens in the hull plating and internal structure of their craft. As we've already seen, the UFOs are capable of sustaining heavy impacts with only minor structural damage, which inspired our research into personal armor plating of the same design. However, the downside of this exotic material we currently have no means of replicating it on Earth. With a limited pool of resources available for future projects, we'll need to manage our use of these alloys carefully. The engineering team is awaiting orders to begin the fabrication process. Once completed, we can see how this carapace armor fare fares on the battlefield. How much does it cost? 20. 20 each. We need 5. So we need 100 just for the armor. And I need to start building that uplink, which is 150, so another 100. Alright, well how many alloys does it take to reach 
a Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Roll. 12. So we need 60. I really don't want to sell those. I... Uh, I can always get more UFO flight computers. If I just wait, sit around and wait, more UFOs will show up. I, I hate doing that. I don't want to, but I need to for money. I need to do that. Alloys are so awesome. I can do that. That's a hundred. Well, hang on. No, it, no, that's fine. Cause I have, I have a buttload of light plasma rifles, so I won't need weapon fragments for that. Uh, Ninety-six. Awesome. Satellite uplink. Begin. Fourteen days. So the uplink will finish, and then I'll get my satellites, and then the council report will hit. And those light light plasma rifles will take forever. So I'm glad to see Zang's back to duty. Who else, actually? By the way, who else? Supports? New. No. Two days. Two days. That's a heavy. Support is. Okay, one of the supports. Yeah, sweet. Bengu, he's back. Awesome. Training school. Yeah, I still don't have a captain. Which comes after lieutenant. Uh, 15th of April. Uneasy. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. Secure transmission coming in now. Alright. According to Dr. Shin's report, the transponder device power provided by Zhang, by Chi Long, is tied into the navigation system of an alien battleship approaching our atmosphere. Oh, lovely. The doctor believes deploying a series of modified transponders could provide you with a means of diverting the battleship before it reaches its target. We will transmit the remaining mission, mission parameters to Central. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Okay. You don't need to carry the arc thrower, just give you a grenade. Because you're not coming with us. Oh, we got Bangu, Zang, Johnson, Vasquez. Maybe you will. Yeah. How about you do come with us? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my bad. Have an arc thrower. Medikit for Bangu. Scope, arc thrower. Welcome back, Zang. Welcome back, Bangu. Sergeant Bangu. It's back, baby. Compared to our sniper, which with a scope and a promotion is barely better than Bangu. Even as decent will. How say? 70, 75 still? Okay. Just had to make sure. Wait. 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 Once you wait. Okay, you think you can wait? Can we scrounge up a hundred? We can if we sell 50 alien alloys. That would really suck. But I want my guys to live. Oh. Well. If it's... If the tracker device is drawing a battleship close, that means we'll have to fight the battleship. And if I know anything about at least human warfare, battleships are freaking huge. They're not the biggest ship, but they're pretty massive. Which means they would probably have a lot of alloys, right? I could probably dump 50. Yeah? Maybe? Yeah? Uh, I'm sure everyone watching this right now is just freaking out. It's like, no! Don't dump them! 
But I'm going to. I'm going to do this. And it's done. You can't even say anything. It's already done. No. Carapace armor. Give me all of them. Oh. Alright. We are almost out of alloys. Light plasma rifle. 25 days. Sweet. I don't need a bear. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm wasting time. Launch Excellent. the mission. We look forward to seeing your pro. This new body armor was developed using what we've learned from the alloys employed in the alien ship. It should prove to be both lighter and stronger than anything we've used in the past. Look at that. Two light I thought we had three. Oh, no, we used one. That's right. For research, we used one. I can get more. I can capture some on this mission, maybe. I don't know. That was like perfect timing on my part. Oh, I can't believe my time care for armor with the music. That was cool. Alright guys, see you in this next mission where we hopefully will not get our butts handed to us.